Tonight's the night, the most stacked show in the history of stacked shows. Stefan Bonner, UFC Hall of Famer, takes on former TWF champion Vinny Massaro of Lucha Underground. But the action does not stop there. Also, we have television champion CJ Dirt defending his championship versus the Chikara Grand Champion Dasher Hatfield. Tonight is the night for TWF. This man, I'm sure you've seen his work for years from Chikara. Absolutely a wizard in the squirted circle. I have been, seen many, many. I've seen dozens of Dasher Hatfield matches from Chikara online over the years. It is an honor, it is a privilege to have that individual here in TWF here tonight at the Colonial Theater in Sacramento. Come on, kids. Maybe, just maybe, the most technically proficient athlete to ever step foot in a TWF ring right now. Can he leave this building with a television championship? CJ Dirt has five million tricks up his sleeve. Let's see if he's gonna try to use them. It's been over a year that CJ Dirt has held that TV title. And as the boos remind everyone, the boos remind me, these people would love to see Dasher Hatfield take that TV title from CJ Dirt. 3,000 miles on an airplane just to face CJ. And from what I understand, these two individuals had the opportunity to go last on this television show, to quote unquote main event this television show. CJ said he wanted no part of that. He wanted to get it done quickly. He wanted to get it done first. And obviously Dasher Hatfield, the more experienced of the two. More time in that ring trained by the legendary Mike Wackenbush in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. CJ Dirt has got definitely his work cut out for him. He has found a way to keep that TV title over and over again over the past 365 days in this promotion. But Dasher Hatfield is a different level of athlete, a different kind of athlete, the grand champion of one of the biggest companies in all of the United States. Both men about the same height. You gotta think Dasher's in better shape cardiovascularly. And already CJ's getting in his own head. And already the potential of Dasher Hatfield is getting under CJ's skin. Collar and elbow now. CJ trying to get some position. Oh, look at Dasher. Has that wrist control with both. CJ already in trouble. We're seven seconds into this thing. Nicely done. Squeezing on that arm. CJ Dirt trying to use some leverage, but Dasher appears to be the stronger of the two does not relinquish. I think CJ is trying to hip toss him, just not enough strength. 
And there is that technical proficiency that I alluded to earlier. Dasher Hatfield has a reversal for everything that CJ Dirt can think of. Oh, beautifully done. Nice takedown by Dasher Hatfield. CJ Dirt, shoulders were down, but just momentarily, and now controlling the television champion. Well, later on in this hour, you will see Vinny Massaro, former TWF champion, Lucha Underground's Vinny Massaro versus UFC Hall of Famer, the American psycho Stefan Bonner. I can't wait for that one. CJ now leaps onto the back of Dasher Hatfield, hoping for some quick offense. It ain't happening. And everything, absolutely everything CJ can think of these opening minutes has blown up in his face. Look at that beautiful reversal there one more time from the hard angle by Dasher Hatfield. He could hop on an airplane with two title belts in just a matter of hours. And once again, controlling the left arm of CJ Dirt. Oh, he stomped on his foot. There's an effective strategy. Oh, nice reversal. Dasher Hatfield avoids the contact and cinches on the abdominal stretch. And CJ Dirt screaming in pain. Gonna rip those muscles right off your ribs. Right off your abs. And Dasher. Backslide. And CJ gets his shoulder out the back door at the last second. And once again, Dasher, like a shark smelling bloody water, going after the shoulder and arm area of CJ. Oh. Nice arm drag. One more time, and down goes the defending champion. And CJ doesn't know where he is. Wow! Tremendous double arm drag by Dasher Hatfield. And CJ Dirt trying to get some wind, trying to get some distance between himself and the challenger. Finger to the eye. Shoulder tackle, and down he goes. Yeah, you strung together two moves. Great, CJ. Good for you. Leapfrog. CJ Dirt avoids the contact. And a very nice backdrop. And down goes CJ Dirt. The champion is reeling. If I was scoring on points, Dasher Hatfield would be way ahead here and now. All right, here we go. Did you see that? CJ Dirt just pushed Lady Lindsay in the way of that baseball slide. Dasher Hatfield accidentally clubs Lady Lindsay. CJ Dirt, he put her in the way. What a scumbag. What a dirtbag. Well, once again, here's that absolutely gorgeous double arm drag moments ago by Dasher Hatfield. And then. Backdropped into the lights at the Colonial Theater, but right here, listen to the crowd. As CJ Dirt shoves Lady Lindsay in the way of Dasher Hatfield's dropkick. And now CJ, ever the opportunist, dumps him on his skull with the DDT and takes full offensive momentum. Well, Dasher Hatfield, a very well-conditioned athlete kicks out of a possible three count, but now he is playing catch-up. CJ Dirt has relinquished control by hook or by crook, and Dasher Hatfield needs to get to a vertical base to alleviate this pressure. Gotta think he's the stronger, more conditioned of the two, but you can't underestimate the craftiness of CJ Dirt. You are not television champion for a year by luck. Oh, and Dasher, the Lady Lindsay trying to shake off the cobwebs on the outside. Dasher has made it to a vertical base. There's some palm strikes. Oh, shot to the midsection. I'm not sure what Dasher was thinking, but CJ cut him off. Suplex, not quite. Inside cradle, small package, only two. 
you gotta admit, CJ Dirt can wrestle. If you get past the devious qualities and his usual ring persona, the guy can actually wrestle. Right hand to the side of the skull. Not as technical, not as flashy as Dasher Hatfield, but just as effective. Front face lock, maybe a suplex. Maybe not. Blocked one more time. It's a stalemate. Tremendous transition by CJ Dirt into the Russian leg sweep. Only a two count. Or should I call it the Mexican leg sweep? Whatever the case may be, CJ Dirt, beautiful transition moments ago. Look at this. Dumps him on the back of his skull and very nearly beats Dasher Hatfield. Dasher trying to, now it's his turn to shake off the cobwebs. CJ Dirt looks least for wear. Nice elbow there by the challenger. A second time and CJ Dirt eats it in the face. And Dasher Hadfield utilizing the big part of his elbow, most surface area. Reversal now. Forearm shiver and CJ is staggering. Sunset flip! Only two. Very flashy. Very nimble on his feet with the sunset flip. But when the smoke clears, it's only a two count and CJ Dirt gets that advantage back. A couple of shots and now Dasher Hatfield. Oh, look at this. Pain on the left arm and shoulder as Big MF Matt Freeman barks directions to CJ Dirt. That left arm, very unnatural position, and Dasher Hatfield needs to get that rope. Like yesterday, he needs to get that rope. Oh, he's got the rope. Come on, CJ. Well, Dasher Hatfield had to use every ounce of strength he had to get to the ropes here moments ago. Tremendous. Awesome sunset flip there, but unable to keep the shoulders down for a three count, keeping him on his toes. But as it stands at the live action now, CJ Dirt has control. CJ Dirt dictating the pace with Dasher Hatfield, the current grand champion of Chikara. That goes a long way in this business. It means you know what you're doing in the squared circle. Now, yeah, he can't go higher than Trace. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Powerbomb! Powerbomb! No way! Oh, come on! Wait a second! Big MF Matt Freeman! Big MF Matt Freeman just grabbed the wrist of CJ and prevented what would have been a powerbomb. Talk about getting a little help from your friends from those leeches at ringside. This crowd showing their unappreciation. Shot to the midsection, but CJ Dirt hangs on to his foot. Talk about crafty. Catches the foot, throws it over the second rope, and then the Irish whip and gravity send him down. Look at this. Look at Matt Freeman grabbing the wrist of CJ Dirt, preventing any possibility of a powerbomb. Then he catches the foot of Dasher Hatfield, throws it over the second rope, and dumps him unceremoniously onto his face. What a comeback. Big time right by the challenger. And CJ Dirt, back elbow. Only two. Just when you think Dasher Hatfield's getting back in the ball game, he hits a double play. <laughs> He gets a base hit up the middle, then hits into a 4-6-3 double play. And now it's time for the suplex and red Mexican. Not quite. Suplex by Dasher. Pin that man. 
And both individuals have seen their share of punishment. Both individuals are down. And this crowd wants to see Dasher stick it to CJ Dirt. They want somebody, even if it takes a guy coming from 3,000 miles away, to finally shut up CJ Dirt and finally take that TV title from around his waist. And if there was ever a more qualified candidate, I don't know who it is. Dasher Hatfield can do it all. No, oh, he missed. Well, CJ Dirt, I'm not sure what was on his mind. Missed the flying forearm. Shot to the midsection. Jackhammer! Oh! Dasher Hatfield with the absolutely spectacular jackhammer, but it only gets him a two count. Wow! And I thought, in my heart of hearts, I thought this thing was done. I thought that jackhammer would be enough to put away CJ Dirt. The guy is tougher than a $2 steak, I have to admit it. Perhaps another one. Now, CJ Dirt with some defensive knees to the top of the skull. Stunner, perhaps, not quite. Dasher able to fling him down. Shoulders are down! Oh, once again, super close, but not quite three. Oh, look at CJ. He defeat puts a size 12 into the face of Dasher Hatfield. Turn the tables. Oh, Dasher caught him. Beautiful reversal and dumps him face first! Oh! And Dasher Hatfield cannot, cannot believe the resilience of CJ Dirt. Oh, we thought CJ had full advantage right here, puts a size 12 into Dasher's face. But Dasher Hatfield, ever the innovator in the squared circle, only two. Look at this. These people genuinely, genuinely want to see Dasher win that TV title. Within an eyelash moments ago, and now he's turned his attention to the top rope. Is that what it takes to put away CJ Dirt? It could be the case, but CJ, a little bit of time to recover, a little bit of time to regain his wits, and now CJ on the prowl. Superplex, perhaps. Dasher doing his best to block any possibility of that. Both men, that's a real tough position to be in. Very dangerous on the top rope there. Powerbomb, powerbomb, CJ's hanging on, CJ's hanging on, and now look at Matt Freeman, come on, ridiculous, <laughs> sit down powerbomb, oh, one more excruciatingly long two count, and CJ Dirt finds a way to get out the back door one more time. Dasher can't believe it. Everyone at the Colonial Theater can't believe it. Look at this. Well, Dasher Hatfield was thinking Sunset Flip Powerbomb. He was thinking win that TV title. CJ, to his credit, held on. But then Matt Freeman held on too. But Dasher somehow vanquishes that. Dumps him down. Only two. These people were dying. At These people were absolutely, positively dying to see a new television champion. 
but it did not happen. And now both men to a vertical base. Dasher, though, controlling the pace, controlling what's going on in the ring here. Uh-oh, Tree of Woe. Oh, what a shot. Oh, wait, get, come on, Matt Freeman, what are you doing? What a shot. That'll keep him to stick his nose where it doesn't belong. Matt Freeman. Matt Freeman is going for a ride, courtesy of Dasher Hatfield. Oh, wait. Hey, Lindsay, get off the apron. Get off the apron. Damn it. Oh, come on, jawbreaker. Enough interference. Enough misdirection. And CJ Dirt now has placed Dasher Hatfield on the top rope. No, 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 no. Oh, top rope stunner. Still TV champion. Despite an absolutely amazing performance by Dasher Hatfield, CJ Dirt utilizes every resource he can think of and keeps the TV title. That guy looks familiar. He's got fans in every trailer park and a dirty trick around every corner. And he needed every damn dirty trick he could think of here tonight to keep the TV title. And Jay Paul, he's got aspirations to take that TV title. What a joke! What a joke, Jay Paul! Go back to the title, boy! Over a year, and no one, no one has been able to knock that piece of work right there off his pedestal. Not even the Chikara Grand Champion, who came 3,000 miles for this matchup. What a real man looks like. What a real man looks like. Oh, now he's going to rub it in these people's face one more time. Is that what we do? Yeah, I hear there's a 12-pack of Coors Light and some corn dogs back there. Yeah, great. Well, right here, look at this. Dasher Hatfield, always a step ahead almost the entire matchup. He's seen and done it all in this business. Wow, not the first time that he's had to face a two-on-one fight. And then here, he was thinking about maybe pile driver, maybe powerbomb, something to take Matt Freeman out of the equation, but he looks over and sees Lady Lindsay arguing with the referee. He tells her to mind her own business and get the hell out of there. But that was just enough of a distraction for the jawbreaker by Big MF and CJ Dirt to shake off those cobwebs place him on the top rope and hit that top rope stunner one two three Well, next week is a very, very special version of this show. Stockton Arena, 3,000 people. It will be amazing. You've got to tune in next week. Battle Royal, big, big, big implications. Look at the beautiful water and the trees. That might be the best venue we've ever, the nicest venue we've ever competed in.
Total Wrestling Fed is our Instagram handle. Instagram seems to be the preferred social media destination of the 20-somethings, of the 30-somethings. So check us out, all the latest news on what's going on in this wrestling company. Well, last week, we witnessed an epic tag team street fight. The Dreamboats versus Famous Inc. with an epic finish. One of these teams is no more. to a union to save me 20% at All Pro Bail Bonds. When my buddy called me to bail him out, I went to All Pro Bail Bonds. They give the military a 20% discount. I needed my husband home with us, but I didn't have the money to get him out. That's why I went to All Pro Bail Bonds, because they let me make payments. You never know when you'll need a pro. Call All Pro Bail Bonds, 888-845-BAIL. Offering affordable payment plans plus military and union discounts. ¿Alguien ha sido arrestado? Llame sin compromiso. Nosotros le ayudaremos. Ofrecemos pagos de acuerdo a su presupuesto. No se preocupe más. Nuestros agentes son amables y profesionales. Llame a un experto. Llame a All Pro Bail Bonds. Well, normally, this would be the part where I plug the professional wrestling training with Lucha Underground's Vinny Massaro, but... For the safety of everyone involved, it's been postponed for the time being. So no professional wrestling training until the world is a safer place for all of us. But when it does pick up again, we go Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. in Lodi, California. You can contact our various social medias for, di for, for the skinny on what's going on with that. This is the Colonial Theater. I love this venue to death. Whether as a fan, whether as part of a wrestling promotion, it is an absolutely great place to watch pro wrestling. Thank you for watching. Well, don't forget, our main event here tonight, Stefan Bonner, the UFC Hall of Famer, the American Psycho, the Pioneer, versus Lucha Underground's Vinny Massaro, who's a former TWF champion. Didn't we get enough of you already? Well, Big MF Matt Freeman is back. refers to the Vigilance Committee, he means Samoan Sap, the nephew of former San Francisco 49er great Jesse Sapolu and also the outlaw Justin Caton. They're the largest, strongest, most physically dominant tag team in TWF history. Now why they're out here, I do not know. But I do know that they've been called out to the ring by Big MF Matt Freeman. Oh, really? You want to see these two walking down the dance fight each other? Yeah. If you two guys are going to do the match, you're going to fire. And that's from Commissioner T-Money. Ring the bell. 
Well, as we saw at a recent show in Rockland, California, these two were forced to fight each other by Commissioner T Money, and now he's making them do it again. Well, there's a clothesline, moves them just a little bit. We're talking both these guys. Oh my goodness. Both of these guys are hovering around the 400 pound mark. That's a lot of beef. That's a lot of muscle. Oh my goodness. And the unstoppable force meets the immovable object and down they both go. Double clothesline. Well, in order to keep their employment opportunities with this company, they're being forced to fight each other. Commissioner T-Money wants to see them dismantle each other several times in the ring. Yeah, for his own sick pleasure. He's not even in the damn building tonight. Yeah, a real way to run a company, Mr. T-Money. Well, both men make their way to their feet after that crazy double clothesline moments ago. These guys are best friends. These guys make entertaining backstage vignettes. They're saying who's stronger? I don't know. My money might be on Samoan set. But then again, Caden is real strong too. The outlaw is a strong guy too. I don't know. But it looks like they're going to do a good old-fashioned 1980s test of strength here. Sap is taller. Not that much bigger though. As I alluded to earlier, Samoan Sap's uncle played for the San Francisco 49ers, several times a Super Bowl champion. His name was Jesse Sapola. <laughs> that was a stalemate. That was a cat's game. They're gonna break each other's knuckles. Oh, open hand strike. Nicely done. And Sap hits one too. What does it feel like to hit? <laughs> what does it feel like to be struck by a 400 pound cowboy or a 400 pound Samoan? My goodness. I think it's. It's time for some H2O. It's time to hydrate. Drink lots of water when you're fighting your best friend against your will. Look at this. <laughs> Time out. Well, both individuals back in the square circle. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, he slammed him. Outlaw Justin Caton body slammed some Owen Sapp. What a show of strength that went. What the hell is going on? Oh, wait, that's Big MF. Oh. And it was all a ruse so Big MF could just level these guys with a steel chair. Come on. Forced to fight each other and then laid out. Big MF, a real piece of work. Look at this. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, that's Lockjaw. We haven't seen him in a long time. He couldn't just sit back in the locker room and let this nonsense go on. Well, here we go. Here's a little bit of matchmaking on the fly. Lockjaw came out from the locker room, didn't want to sit back 
and let Big MF Matt Freeman go to town with a steel chair. Came out here. No, here we go. Improvisational matchmaking. I love it. This is what you can expect with pro wrestling. You never know what to expect with TWF. Lockjaw is in the building. And Big MF Matt Freeman has his hands full. These two actually met at an untelevised event in Manteca, California to benefit the Boys and Girls Club a little while back. It was an epic confrontation. And ever since then, Lockjaw looking for an opportunity to shut up Big MF. To give him a taste of his own medicine. Usually he's stronger and tougher than, he's an MMA fighter. But that is not the case when you're in the ring with that guy. It's a coke machine with a head. It's the former television champion of TWF. And it's a guy that could take out Matt Freeman. Never take your eyes off Lady Lindsay at ringside. We've already seen her stick her nose where it doesn't belong earlier here tonight. Of course, coming up next, Stefan Bonner, the UFC Hall of Famer, versus Vinny Massaro. As it stands right now, though, Lockjaw taking a hold of that left arm, waist lock now. Down goes Big MF. And there's a shoulder tackle from the powerful, powerful Lockjaw. Oh wait, oh come on! We've seen this happen a million times, and now gives Matt Freeman just a momentary edge and cinches on that headlock. Oh, and Lockjaw misses a splash. Nice bulldog executed by Big MF. Cover. Only a one count with that cover, but Lady Lindsay doing her job to swing the momentum in the direction of Matt Freeman. There's that bulldog one more time and gets himself a serious advantage. Those are some big time rights. He might be an American degenerate now, but Big MF Matt Freeman is also undefeated in professional mixed martial arts. And now, fish hooking those eyes of Lockjaw and Big MF Matt Freeman. Several jabs to the cheekbone, and Lockjaw's in trouble. Choking him on that second rope, and Big MF showing the world how vicious he can be. Oh, a stiff forearm to the side of the face, and Lockjaw, oh, thank you, sir. May I have another? Headbutt, and down goes Big MF. Lockjaw absorbs the punishment and comes back. This ain't his first rodeo. Scoops him up, makes him think about it, makes the blood rush to his head, and then dumps him down unceremoniously to the canvas. Come on, Lindsay, get off the damn apron. Come on. Oh, and there's a rake to the eyes. Big MF Matt Freeman uses the misdirection to his advantage. Rams the left shoulder several times into the midsection of Lockjaw. These are two heavy hitters. Stinger splash in the corner. Now that's a stiff forearm. And Lockjaw once again retaliating though, showing the world why he's a former television champion of this company. Forearm shiver and down goes Freeman. <laughs> I think that was between the legs. He definitely kicked his ass. Rakes the eyes with the bottom of his boot. And Big MF, Matt Freeman, maybe he got his vocal cords, that'd be great. 
Maybe if he damaged his vocal cord so he couldn't talk for two or three weeks, that would be excellent. Both men to a vertical base now. Shoots him in the corner. Back elbow finds the mark right on the money. And Matt Freeman is slumping in the corner. Matt Freeman is having his ass handed to him by a veteran of the squared circle. He walked into this night not thinking that he'd be in singles competition. He thought maybe he'd support CJ Dirt. He would make Sap and Outlaw's life a living hell. But he did not think he'd be competing. I'll miss the clothesline. What a spine buster! Good God almighty, what a spine buster by Lockjaw. Sends him down. Pin that man. Well, that's usually the setup for the TKO. Swing him around and cut him down. Fireman's carry. Come on. Wait a second. What the hell did Matt Freeman pull out of his tights? Oh, ridiculous. What the hell was in his tights, and what did he hit Lockjaw with? Was that brass knuckles? Was that a roll of dimes? Whatever the hell it was, it knocked out Lockjaw with one single solitary punch. And Big MF Matt Freeman. Win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. Come on. Right here. Absolutely beautiful spine buster. But then Lockjaw goes to polish him off. He's got him in that fireman's carry. Was going to go for that TKO. The distraction. and Yeah, there's definitely something in the right hand. A big MF. I can't tell from this advantage point. Brass knuckles, roll of quarters, who knows. When the smoke clears, big MF gets a victory. Well, these people respect Lockjaw. We hope to see more of him in the future. We thought he was winding it down as far as an in-ring career goes. We are happy to see him, and he is welcome back anytime. It's the Slam of the Week, brought to you by our friends at Max Muscle of the greater, greater, greater Central Valley.
It's the Slam of the Week, brought to you by our friends at Max Muscle of the greater, greater, greater Central Valley. Facebook.com slash the TWF for all the happenings. You'll know there first when the live events are coming back. The live events in towns like Manteca, Stockton, Sacramento, whatever. And to piggyback off that, once it's safe to do live events again, we can do birthday parties, we can do private parties. Facebook.com slash the TWF to talk to us about bringing the action of this company to your town or your event. He has been the champion of this company. He has wrestled all over the world. He has wrestled in Japan. He has wrestled in Mexico. He has honed his craft all over the planet, all over the globe. But maybe never has he had an opponent quite like his opponent here tonight. He has been featured on national television. He has been featured on Lucha Underground. Vinny Massaro, well, despite our current technical difficulties with his music, Vinny Massaro has probably the best winning percentage in the history of TWF. Rarely, rarely goes down in defeat in the squirt circle here in this company. Just uses that tenacity, that experience, that knowledge to always have a leg up on everyone in that locker room. But tonight is different. Tonight he's facing a world-class athlete, a mixed martial arts, UFC Hall of Famer. These fans have no love for Vinny Massaro at all anymore. There was a time when they adored him. He has since thrown their respect out the window. He could care less. Well, this is the beautiful, historic Colonial Theater in Sacramento, California. I can't think of a better venue to bring you this next matchup. This gentleman right here put the UFC on the map by competing in the main event of the Ultimate Fighter finale. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of Chicago, Jackson Cook, Jordan Paul, Brandon Tiffany, Jordan Paul, Jordan That, my friends, is a world-class athlete. That, my friends, is a UFC Hall of Famer stepping foot in a TWF ring. A different kind of athlete. You take one of those spin kicks to the head, it knocks your lights out. He is not some weekend warrior. He is not some dreamer. This is a man that competed at the pinnacle in the biggest mixed martial martial arts promotion in the world. Now, he is a professional wrestler with a learning curve that is absolutely off the charts. Because he's competed at such a high level in mixed martial arts, he is so dangerous as a professional wrestler and getting better with every single opportunity he steps in that squared circle. And Vinny Massaro knows he has his work cut out for him. He knows he's got to feel him out. He's got to choose his shots because he could be knocked out at any second. Yes, I do. I named him. Vinny says, is, is, are we going to go MMA style? Well, Vinny knows a thing or two about MMA. 
He has trained jiu-jitsu in the past. Oh, what a strike. That'll knot up your thigh muscle in a hurry. Oh, taking a kick like that from a UFC Hall of Famer will definitely put a big bruise on your leg. It'll give you a negative outlook on life. Vinny now, taking his time, trying to feel him out. And one more time, Vinny Massaro feels the wrath of the right foot of Bonner. That's six foot four, 250 pounds. What a spin kick right in the heart. And Vinny's hurting. Vinny's hurting already. What does it feel like to take a spin kick from an athlete like that? Oh, nice takedown there. And here's the ground game of a UFC Hall of Famer. Controlling, controlling Vinny Massaro. Vinny's got to make sure the shoulders don't stay down. And Stefan Bonner now dominating Vinny Massaro. Going for that, going for that arm bar. Vinny's got to keep the hands locked. He's going for that arm bar. Oh, Vinny's got the ropes. Very, very lucky for Vinny Massaro. He was able to get his foot on that bottom rope. And the arm and shoulder has got to be hurting for the former TWF champion. Look at this. Watch, watch him. Watch him step over into that arm bar. And Vinny knew he was in trouble. Sometimes UFC fights end in 37 seconds, and that could have been Vinny Massaro if he wasn't crafty enough to get that bottom rope. You might want to rethink that strategy about trying to go, trying to go shoot style, trying to go MMA with Stefan Bonner. Oh, and now, Vin, now Vinny's taking back everything he said. He says, now it's time to do a pro wrestling match. I proved, I proved my superiority in MMA. Is that how it goes, Vinny? You proved your MMA stylings were superior, right? And now you want to go straight up pro wrestling? Is, is that how it goes? Or are you trying to get in the head of Stefan Bonner? Well, Vinny, obviously, over two decades of experience in professional wrestling. Much more in the pro wrestling game than Stefan Bonner. Stefan Bonner, obviously, a world-class athlete, but hasn't been doing the pro wrestling thing nearly one-tenth of the time that Vinny Massaro has. Shoulder into the stomach a few times, gains an advantage. Back elbow, nicely done by the UFC Hall of Famer. Oh, and peels him out of the corner with a ton of force and velocity. Vinny's in trouble. Rip cord, clothesline, and down goes Massaro. Well, Vinny taking the high road. Beautiful rip cord, clothesline moments ago by Stefan Bonner, and Vinny Massaro's out of here. Vinny Massaro trying to catch a breather, and Stefan Bonner needs to go after him. Well, look at this. There's that back elbow. Beals him right across our ring, and then right here. Moose taught him that one. Ribcord clothesline by Stefan Bonner, and now he's stalking his prey. He's not letting Vinny re-strategize on the outside. He's going to go after him into the lobby of the Colonial Theater. They're selling hot dogs and popcorn out there. Be careful. Our cameraman trying to catch up. Look out, guys. Look out. Back up, back up. Get in your seats, please. Get in your seats. Get in your seats. And here comes Bonner, and here comes Vinny. The cameraman's got to play security guard, too. Tell people to get in their seats. Meanwhile, Vinny Massaro, who was trying to get some distance and re-strategize, was unsuccessful in those efforts. 
Stefan Bonner stays on him. Oh, and look at Vinny. There is a veteran move right there. The second that Bonner puts his head under that bottom rope, Vinny had the high ground and stumps the life out of Stefan Bonner. Oh, reversal. Vinny was going for some sort of suplex. And there it is. Suplex by Bonner. There's the athletic superiority of a UFC Hall of Famer right there. Of a six foot four, 250 pound, world class athlete. He's thinking top rope now. And Vinny, ever the pro wrestling veteran, uses the referee to his advantage. Pushes Karina Kyle into that rope, and Bonner just crotched himself, and Vinny gets all that momentum back in his side. Face first goes Bonner, and he's hurt. And Vinny Massaro leaning, choking Bonner with all his body weight. Interesting, interesting clash of styles here. You've got the obvious. Vinny knows every trick in the book times 100. Been all over the world. And... And you've got the raw potential, though, of Stefan Bonner. Very early into his pro wrestling days, but still an amazing specimen, an amazing athlete with tons of potential. Something's got to give here tonight. Well, look at this. I had seen Bonner practicing a top rope elbow on Instagram a while back. Maybe he was thinking that, maybe not. Nevertheless, Vinny Massaro hits an elbow Shoulders are down, but Stefan Bonner gets that shoulder up just barely. But with every kick out, with every time he tries to kick out or get Vinny off him, he's expending energy, and Vinny knows that. Vinny knows how to grind it out. Vinny knows how to get a victory. If I'm not mistaken, Vinny Massaro's winning percentage here in TWF over the years is somewhere around 98%. The guy finds a way to beat everyone. Everyone you can think of on this roster, he's found a way to beat. And Bonner now, very smart, gets off his butt, back to a vertical base. Shot to the midsection, doing whatever he can to alleviate the pressure. And Vinny Massaro, handful of hair, throws him down. Just as Bonner is trying to mount some sort of comeback, Vinny cuts him off. That's what veterans do. Oh, the meat of his forearm across the chest. One more time and Bonner is reeling. There's a reversal. Oh, face first. What a belly to belly. Wrench suplex dumps him on his skull. That was like a gut wrench DDT after the belly to belly. And Stefan Bonner, Stefan Bonner stringing together the high impact offense. Modified German suplex, and down goes Vinny. Cover him. Only two, despite the trifecta of amazing moves here. Look at this. Pops those hips and sends him down with the belly to belly, but not to be outdone. Alternate angle there. Gut wrench DDT onto his skull. Modified belly to back slash German, but after all that, Vinny Massaro somehow gets the shoulder up and this thing keeps going. Oh, come on. Rakes the eyes. Vinny Massaro. Spin kick, spin kick, spin kick across the face, drops the elbow, and Vinny Massaro's down. You talk about that amazing, explosive, offensive potential of Stefan Bonner. Imagine how great he can be with a few more years in the squared circle. Oh wait, low blow, are you kidding me? 
And Vinny wins. The crafty veteran, low blow, and a three count. Bonner can't believe it. Here's your winner, Vinny Massaro. After Stefan Bonner hits three amazing high impact moves in a row, it's a cheap shot and a roll up and a handful of tights. I am now officially the new Ultimate Fighter. Thank you very much. And Finny Massaro has declared himself the right. Ultimate Fighter. What a travesty of justice. Look at this. He knew exactly where the referee was. Vinny Massaro being choked out. Vinny Massaro about to go on Dream Street, about to go to La La Land. Referee's back was turned, low blow. Roll him up, handful of tights. Vinny Massaro wins. And Stefan Bonner can't believe it. These people can't believe it. Vinny Massaro with the win. Before we go, I'll just remind you to watch next week. Watch what we do here on YouTube, Stockton Arena. 3,500 people will be watching. It will be an amazing experience. Watch TWF next week.